हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आवर फोर्टी थर्ड एपिसोड फॉर यूजीसी एन टी नेट एंड सेट पेपर वन एम सी क्यूज इन दिस एपिसोड विल डिस्कस एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज इन इंडिया एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच आवर अर्लियर एपिसोड लिंक फॉर देम इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच देम एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस एपिसोड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज इन इंडिया एज ऑफ डिसम्बर टू was so friends there are total 50 central universities in india as of december 2019 so friends you may update it before examination if there is new addition but uh, i don't think so there will be a new addition uh, by the exam so the correct answer is total number of 50 central universities are there in india by december 2019 now move on to the next question which is the oldest central university in india so friends uh, the central university dated back to uh, british era and this university is allahabad university remember the oldest central university in india is allahabad university which was founded in 1887 so it's quite a old uh, so almost it is more than 170 years uh, 180 i believe so more than 180 years of age so allahabad university and founded in 1887 move on to the next question which is the newest central university in india so uh, this is the which is the newest means which is the recent most uh, university so friends the if you remember the uh, state of andhra pradesh was divided into telangana and andhra and andhra pradesh was promised uh, iit iser and central university so the recent central university is central university of andhra pradesh remember this the most recent or newest central university is central university of andhra pradesh and move on to the next question which state has highest number of central universities in india so friends uh, uttar pradesh has the highest central universities in india uh, which which has aligarh muslim university banaras hindu university and, and there are uh, four more universities so uttar pradesh has highest number of central universities in india remember this move on to the next question the ground on which discrimination in admission to educational institution is constitutionally allowed so uh, so friends this is not about the prohibition this is about the on which ground the discrimination in educational institute is allowed so friends it is not allowed on the basis of sex it is not allowed not allowed on the basis of religion it is not allowed on the base basis of place of birth but it is allowed on once based on one's nationality so indian nationals get prefer can get preferential uh, treatment over the other nationals so nationality is the ground where the discrimination is allowed in the educational institute so move on to the next question education as a subject of legislation figures in the so friends the union list or the state list or the concurrent list so friends remember this union list mean the means the uh, this <coughs> decision on them can be taken by the center and the state list uh, is the list where decision can be taken by the state and concurrent list is the list where both state and center have the power but uh, you also remember that in concurrent list also center has more say if some uh, what we call some problem arises so center will prevail so the correct is subject education is the subject of concurrent list move on to the next question so they have asked us to match the list 1 and list 2 in list 1 they have given the uh, institute of uh, international importance or uh, we call them meritorious meritorious institutes and their location so friends the indian council of historical research it is in new delhi indian institute of advanced studies it is in shimla and indian council of philosophical research is in lucknow and indian central institute of coastal engineering and fisheries is in bangalore so remember this all these things so the correct answer will be a as i have told you already what is the pair move on to the next question so which of the following core value among the institution of higher education are promoted by nac so friends we'll read the uh, core values first first contributing to the national development yes this is the core value b fostering global competencies among the student yeah this is also correct and inculcating 
a value system among the student this is also correct and promoting the optimum utilization of the infrastructure so this is not included in the nac so remember first three are included so correct answer will be b that is a b c moving on to the next question so friend so far i have not covered uh, uh, questions from polity and governors so from here onwards i'll start including the questions from polity and governors also so uh, this is one one of that question one rupee currency note in india bears the signature of though uh, i don't think so anyone is using it but it bears the signature of financial secretary of government of india remember this one rupee currency note in india bears the signature of financial secretary of government of india moving on to the next question so friend this question is for you which of the following rights was considered the heart and soul of the indian constitution by the constitution writer dr baba saheb ramji ambedkar b r ambedkar dr baba saheb ambedkar so the question, options are a freedom of speech b right to equality c right to freedom of religion and c right to constitutional remedy so you have to answer this in the comment section thank you thank you for watching Abu.